What's up YouTube? Mac97 here. Today I'm going to be doing another Photoshop tutorial for you guys. Now this kind of effect is all over YouTube, but I guess I'll make one. Now this is it right here. It's called the starburst effect, or light effect, or whatever. And there's uh, many ways to make this, but I'm going to show you one of my ways. First thing you do is you're gonna open up Photoshop and like this is one of them that I made but really if you don't mess with the colors and everything it's gonna come out like this in black and white. But yeah, so what you're gonna do is file new. You're gonna do the resolution of your computer's wallpaper or whatever. And I usually keep the resolution at 800 for more detailed things. Press OK and this is what you can come up with. So first what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your paint bucket tool right here. You're going to make the background color, or the foreground color, black. And you're just going to fill that up. By the way, guys, this is a really easy one to make. Really easy. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your gradient tool. And you're going to pick the built-in one right here. And you're going to hold down shift, start somewhere. And when you hold down shift, your line doesn't move. It just goes straight. And you're going to just go like that and let go. Now you have this little white shade to black. Next step is you're going to go to dis or filter, distort, and press wave. Now you're going to make sure this is on square, not seen, not triangle, and just square. You can uh, mess around with this stuff, but I would keep it on 5 if I were you. Wavelength. Um, I'm gonna keep it on ten. Yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, you can mess with that stuff, but you know, I really wouldn't. Uh, no, you know, repeat edge pixels. Now you have something like this, and even this by itself is a pretty cool wallpaper. But we're not done yet. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to filter, distort again, and you're gonna pick polar co eh, coordinates. Now you're gonna do a. Uh, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to press rectangular to polar, rectangular to polar, and then don't mess with that stuff. And then you're going to press OK. So right there, you already have your background. Now it looks pretty cool by itself, but say you don't want to do this. Now, there's many things you can do right here. And by the way, guys, if you don't want to learn to add colors, it's time to leave. And so for, if you want to add colors, there's many ways to do this. You can go to New Layer, click on your Gradient Tool again, and you're just going to go click on it. Find one that you like, uh, let's see, this one's pretty cool. Go down again. Let go. Press color. You're going to go to your, no, press normal up here. And press color, and you have this pretty cool thing. And that's one way to do it. Now, there's lots of gradients right here. You can make your own, and it looks pretty good. Another way to do it is delete that layer. You can get your brush tool. Make it a color you want. Uh, increase the thickness right there. Make the hardness, I would say, wherever you want. I'm going to keep it at zero and make it a fade in. Now, what you're going to do, click off here. Make it bigger. That's what she said, by the way. Just color over this if you want. Uh, make it a kind of purplish on the edges. Whoops, my dog's acting up there. And you can just go around here. Sorry about the dog, by the way. And you can just press color. No, okay, that looks really horrible. Let me take off that purple. Do it again. Now you have this one. This is and then what I did on my uh this background has kind of a blue uh blue uh, glow on the outer side. So for that, what you're going to do is you're going to keep it on color, make it a dark blue, then you're going to make your brush bigger, and you're just going to kind of click a few times on the outer. Just like that. That's too much, like that. So, yeah. That's basically it for this tutorial, and there's many other things you can do. Leave a comment below if you want me to teach them to you, or I'll teach. Uh, leave a comment to you, and I'll uh, do whatever you want. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, please. I'm not trying to be greedy, but I'm really getting low on subscribers. I'm getting like a subscriber like once a month. 
enter my giveaway. If you're watching this video late, the giveaway is probably going to be closed. There's only a few people in that giveaway, and it's a $10 iTunes card giveaway. So there's like four people in it right now. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, comment below, and enter that giveaway if you want for an iTunes gift card. So I'll see you in my next video. Peace.